so we're going to get a little more complex now. And um, this next one's called the L kick, which I know a lot of people have been trying. And um, now we're going to break it down for you. So, to start off, I guess the best way to learn is to be able to do a handstand. And a handstand is just upside down. And that's your handstand. So, now once you get to the handstand, all you're going to do is when you're here, you want to twist and let go of one hand. So, and then that starts to build your strength in your stronger hand. And then, to get more complex, all you're going to do is once you've let go, you've got to keep your hand there and just twist. This can be helped by moving your shoulder backwards, so I'm bringing out this part. This will stretch your arm and it might strain for a while, but once you get used to it, you're fine. So, we're going to go handstand, let go, twist. Okay, now, to finish it off, it's the L kick. So, your legs have to do this to form an L shape. So, we're going to go. And basically, all you do is when you're up there and you've twisted, you just got to throw your legs out into an L shape. So you want to be as wide as you can, get up there and whack your legs out. And then, to finish off, we want to build up some strength. Once you've done the one hand let go, once you've practiced this and you've got the strength, you're just going to, you're not even going to go into the two hands, you're just going to do it one handed. So. And that's the L kick. Now, the L kick, isn't as variable as popping and waving. You can't use it really anywhere. But to finish off, or maybe even start a routine, why not bust one? You know, you've done a long routine, and then to finish off, you bust an L kick. Finishes it great. Can you go right away for your treat now? Sugar, sugar, baby, but you think you're sweet.